Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Wild Frost, the fresh roguelike deck builder that I'm oh so excited to be back to here today as I am on all days. We are gonna... Oh, God, which one do I pick? I've not really done an overburn build. Whether or not this would lead to one always remains to be seen. I... I feel like I've not super explored Spice either, but I did just play this faction yesterday, so I guess that'll make my decision for me. So let's go on in with Vade here, apply Overburn, which is the thing where we, instead of doing damage, we apply this status effect, and when their health equals it, they explode, taking that damage and doing that damage to everybody in the entire row. So, hey, could be a lot of fun. Um, One of these two, it's probably been the longest since I've played. Let's go for Bushu. I like Bushu. I don't know. It, it's, it's, if I could choose to not take Aimless, I feel like I usually would. I feel like Loki is not bad. I just, I don't know. Don't feel like I need it. So, how the hell do we get combos going? I mean, the good news with Overburn, the thing is, I don't think we need to really plan around it yet. I think that that's a mistake to do. Okay, so we could get like um and I don't I don't want to take this, so we could go for like our cooldowns that our cooldowns are just too high to get combos right now. I think we're gonna really need to use some tar blades, or we're gonna have to get out Jun Jun. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm going to not think about that unit. I think that I just kinda kinda can't right now. You get Jun Jun's out on the field, because I think that that's what we're gonna need as our little secret sauce here. Okay. It's when damaged, but you are not damaged. All right. If Junjun hits the Winter Worm, that would be actually preferred. Well, he has Smackback. Awkward stuff, man. Could do Boom Bang. I guess I need another Snowball. Okay, so that didn't even do damage, so you're not uh, you're not doing more yet. If I hit you, then it'll explode. This is so so strange. <laughs> I just want to greed a little bit here. I'll take I'll take two hits on I'll take a two damage hit on somebody. All right. Alright, ideally this is the back line. Nope. Alright, so you're gonna explode for four once I hit you. With Vade. So if I do this. Yeah, we have a we have a double kill over here. Unlikely that I'm gonna get four Tarblade. Oh, but I actually almost did. Bop, 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 bop. Hmm. This puts you on the same cooldown as Bushu, which I like. Double kill we take. Let's go for the two there. And then we have a two, three. Good. All right, we have... We've got it. By Jove. I've done it. All right. We good to go there? Am I, am I, is there any reason why this matters? I could put you here. I'll save your life, not that it really matters. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm sitting here caring for a second. I just like, eh, but I don't want to lose my unit. My my summons that I'm already not going to be losing. Good deal. Taking a couple doubles is quite good. Charm unit unit seems like a no-brainer to me. Because I, I really, really like to get my two units right away. It helps me know what I'm building around. Add frenzy and consume. I can't... Imagine I want to do that yet. If anything, I would do it on Tarblade, but I, I'm going to save it for something that's maybe going to be good. 
to do it on. How about that? Uh, Snobful or Tusk? Snobful or Tusk? I used Snobble yesterday. It's been a long time since I've used Snoffle. I think it was like literally the first Wild Frost video is the last time I've used Snoffle. Okay, I I want to make Bomb Bomb work. I want to make Bomb Bomb work. And I don't think it I don't think it'll be that hard to do. Right? Deal six damage to self and allies in the row, but you have seven damage barrage, which is huge. We have healing. Kinda of about kinda of, <laughs> Kind of got to be careful with what we put out, though. <laughs> okay, so two brings you down to like. Okay, well, well, oh my God, you freaking porcupine! It's just a lot of damage. Yeah, so that's also going to be a hit from the Mimic as well. Snow for three, Bomb Bomb hits in four. I like it, because we're also going to get a combo going here, which sounds very, very nice. Another mimic, you say. Do I take these hits or do I tarblade the mimic? I, I don't think I tarblade the mimic because I think we can get something better going, right? If I put down Snoffle, still good to go. I also don't care if Snoffle dies. Don't tell Snuffle. And Bushu's gonna heal everybody, anyways. Oh, you put me down to six. Oh no! Wait a minute. Okay, this is a lot. Like I am gonna take four extra damage if I don't kill the mimic. But if I leave the mimic, I get an extra. I get extra money. I get quite a bit of extra money, to be clear. I have 20 health. I think I could take it. Yes, I am going to start blowing myself up to get said health. Oh, God. I got put down to five. Uh, that did not work. That did not work how I wanted. You're running regardless. This is o extreme overkill, but at least I get a I get a triple out of it. Bye, goblin. It's nice to know you. Okay, I'm glad Snuffle gets to. Uh, do their thing right now. Get Junjun going. Alright. So I'm thinking Bomb Bomb is going to go up top. Sorry, Jun you know what? Just That kills you. This kills the bomb bomb. Do I care? Do I care? Well, I definitely shouldn't have... Well, I was going to bring... Actually, it's probably optimal because I would be bringing him back in a little bit anyways. Got three... Just don't want to get weakened again. Which means I have to tattoo. Which means you have to die. Ah, this is annoying. This is annoying.
The berry bell would help. I wish I could to two, then berry bell, but I can't do that. Man, ah, uh, we just took one too much damage for this combo. And it's not even gonna, like, it wouldn't be a full combo. So I think we just process. We let you take this. And then I guess we'll swap you back up. So I don't want I don't want porcupine to blow up yet. Oh my god. My god. All right, so if you hit me, you're going to bring me down to oh yeah 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 yeah. This fight is just so annoying for a barrage sweep. It's going to be two. You're going to be br bringing me down to eight. You're going to bring me down to seven. And then I will hit myself with a Frost Stinger for six. But you're going to bring me down to four. I think I just Blizzard Bottle you and accept the, the double kill. At, the, at this point, you are annoying me greatly. Okay. Rude. I guess I will, uh, I guess I'll tar blade you. That ice lantern, that ice lantern. Seven damage right now, not appealing. Not appealing one bit. Yeah, at this point, we kind of just got to, like... We got to go in quasi-preservation mode here. That counts as a hit. You're going down probably regardless. I mean, Bushu will... We heal for one, and then we heal for three, so we can heal you up for four, putting you at five. So, Bomb Bomb is going to away themselves. And I'd prefer not to have that happen. Just, I'm gonna get rid of you. I, this is it's gotten goofy. I think I'd prefer to just kind of get what we need. Yeah, hit the Jinjun. Jin. It's okay. Doesn't matter too much. We'll we'll get there. Because we have the two. It's gonna put you okay. The thing is, we do not care in the slightest about this damage, you know? Alright, bye, Jun Jun. Bye bye, Jun Jun. Just need a 2 2 at this point. God, Bon Bon. You wild, wild son of a gun. Bonk. Not great. Not great for money. Vesta instead of instead of Snuffle. I want to make it work. I want to make it work. I want to try and make an overburn build happen. So I don't mind that. Heartmist Station with spikes is it's not actively dumb. Durian Charm this is potentially good. Uh, duel. Wait. Plus five attack. 
I mean, that's just stupid. Is that not just a 20 health, 12 damage unit with no downsides? That attacks every four turns? That's so dumb. I can't get anything else. It is weird that we have... Okay, I guess I didn't consider Charm Shop right before regular shop is a little bit awkward. Fairy Blade's good. Do I have anything to use this on yet? I don't hate it on Berry Bell, because, like, how much did I use it in that fight, right? Especially getting Berry Blade. I'll regret it later. Basically, right now, it's Tar Blade or nothing. I'm going to save it because it could be... Also, like, let's be honest. <laughs> You're welcome, King. New Queen Bomb Bomb. Uh, I mean... I can't let you ramp up. As much as I, I really, really want to bring both of you in. Like, so much. God, I hate, I hate that we didn't get Blizzard Bottle this turn. Sure. So now here's the real question. All right, now we get units on the field. Now we... Oh, man. Dang it. God, the rolls. Just not what I was hoping for. Really not. We could have not taken that damage on Vade. There it is. Okay. All right. You do got to be careful. Okay. All right. That was a lot. But now we're finally set up. A two would be really interesting here. I don't mind not killing up top yet because of Infernoco. Wait. Why did I move you back up to the front? It doesn't matter. It worked out fine. It's actually worked out really well, but... I need to wake up, man. Like, I, uh, this, cards on the table. This is literally the first thing I'm doing in the morning. Like, I woke up, I had a little bit of caffeine, and then I sat down and started doing this. And boy, it's showing. Hold on. Okay. So this is extremely dangerous, but that would put you at four, and then you would dupe it up to eight, which gives me a double kill. So I'm going to do it regardless. Dangerous as it may be. And then now, like, just get to the back line. Just get so far to the back line. Just get so, so far to the back line. Unless, unless I'm down with, um, absorbing. This is actually, I love berry blading uh, a two wide for that reason. It heals both. It's super good. All right. So, here's the thing. I want to... I really wish this 12 damage was going to something better. Okay, wow. Uh, 
I wish I had one more tar blade. Because I don't like putting this in this way. But what we heal everybody else. Anywho. So this is a kill on Infernoco. For better or worse. a lot of wasted damage. I, I think it's okay. I just don't want to have to deal with the double sevens. That would be very odd. Okay, we definitely do it in that way. Hold on. That's a lot of tar blades. So two up to double up to four. It's a, a lot happening at once there. Okay, part of me wants to, um, Tutu Vesta. Or in four turns, we could have it be, so it's six, twelve, a twelve damage white to everybody. We don't need a twelve damage white to everybody, though. Eight is enough. So 8 plus 12, we got 20. We need to do 5 damage to you. I might. Alright, fine. Let's get the 2-2 two -two in play. Let's try and get some combo action happening. Yeah, like, obviously the in Infernoco, or the Makoko is the most annoying thing here. Okay. Three damage to both. Doesn't bother me that much. The barrage bothers me slightly. Okay, so it's going to be 12. Okay. Uh, eight is enough if I... Then I have you next turn. This works. Vesto will be at one. Okay. Now, I don't know how this works exactly, but I'm assuming it should work very well. Yes, it did. It's only a five times combo. Only. Redraw bell counter. Pretty much always, right? I know we have another unit, but I, I'm already down a Oh, that's such a good row. But we haven't been taking any um, items, anywho. Yep. Double there. I mean, I love the, the berry, but double their overburn. Yes. Don't, don't even get excited about anything. We have to take the broken vase. Frenzy, but increase your cooldown. That's pretty good on Vesta. Copy of an enemy on your side with one I love. Crown I have to take, though. There's a real argument for putting it on uh, Azul Candle. That's, like, finally a, a thing that I'm like, yeah, that's probably worth. Uh, but Crown on Vesta is a little bit awkward because we want you to go after Vade. So I guess I'm putting it on Bushu. Would have loved that. Can't deny.
Double quadruple. Joop, joop, joop. I mean, obviously, like, it's not bad on, on uh, Bomb Bomb either. Five hitting for, hitting for 12 twice every five turns is pretty good. It's pretty good still. I'll tell you what. That'll be what we do for this fight. More shield on them is going to be rough. Uh. Don't love this. Okay. We we're not going to get another snow. We can get the... Oh, we can get the tattoo there. That works. Whoop. Pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. Ooh, gain two smack back. Interesting. I think we need a force roll. Getting back to the 2-2 two -two and getting Vesta down is, is good. Wow. I think they're finally going to do it. I mean, man, that's no, that's no good. God, I want to tar blade you, but I think we need to get back to the tattoo. make you blow up, which is good. Oh, God. Yeah. Boom, blow up, boom. And then you're just gonna vibe. for what I'll start getting rid of your business sorry gobbling I wish I could kill you I know you're sad but alright best is gonna do literally nothing until I do this Okay, hold on. Azul Candle is going to make it so you go up to 16 and then explode, which I, I really like. It's actually probably going to only explode on 8, which for what it's worth is still probably worth it. That was my fear, but oh well. All right. I can just take that hit. Is the blizzard bottle angle at all? But I, I'm just going to get down Jun Jun. Helps with maybe getting some combos. Gives me another, like, easy sack. If I need it. And we got lethal. We got lethal if we want it. A 
Let's just do this. Gonna hurt. We're good. Reason to roll. Here, you deserve you deserve a treat. Womp. Pretty good. Um, Gnome Traveler's new, but I don't really want to add stuff yet. Azul Battle Axe, sorry, just yes. Like, here's the thing. It, it's always awkward, it's really awkward removing tar blades because it makes the tar blades you have worse. But I'm going to be crossing my fingers that I can remove more. I just really need to oof, thin things out. Yeah, I mean, when we get another crown, I'll probably go for the uh, the Vesta angle, but this is really appealing, just seeing some of the stuff we're working with up there. Got that. That works pretty well. Satisfying. Wait. Still satisfying. Still gonna be good, but that is... Of course you have the freaking... Of course you have that. Of course. Um... I'm aimless. Yeah, I just don't really know what to do yet, so I'm going to put down... Because I'm... Yeah. This also makes so Bomb Bomb goes first, so we might be able to just hit the front line, depending on who we hit. Okay, good. Those are the two I wanted to hit. That helps a lot. I think um, trying to get you out of here through other means sounds really nice right now. I think letting you die sounds sounds pretty good. Just, it's just too annoying of a uh, thing to deal with. This gets me a kill on the goblin. So it gets me a double kill, and we're kind of... Okay. Kind of have to deal with this guy. Look at the Maja. I mean, that's already fine. I'm gonna need to get the um, the snow. Love that. Uh, double, double, double. I mean. like that we got 16 pretty good 
still snowed. I need to get to the snow again before... Oh, it's not going to be a problem. It's just not going to be a problem. So, a reminder, it's trigger on hits. So, like, you will attack the front line no matter what here. All right, there we go. All right. Pretty easy. Pretty easy fight there. Okay, we have to go up. Really happy we get to grab a uh, the bling snail. Uh, I feel like the vase... Oh, Azul Skull would be so fun. Azul Skull, why? Why, why, why? Alright, step one. Get crown, no think. I mean, Lumen Vase on Vade is just so good. Right? Like, just straight up, it's really good. Applying four overburn and then having it doubled. So, like, ugh, the dream is, though. I think that it's. I, I'm going to regret taking it off bomb, bomb. Like, taking the double off a of bomb bomb. But. This is how I'm gonna want it for the for the uh wait, 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 wait. that's how I'm gonna want it for the boss probably. So we go for the two and then we double double and then every time Vesta goes, it uh, the overburn gets quadrupled, which means the final the true boss if we make it there, uh we could kill an entire row really easily. Like really easily. We can kill an entire row. But do I need to do that now? Maybe, I don't know if I do that now. I don't know if that's the better strategy for the moment. I think getting just all my units out is good. And then we'll make our snap decision. We'll make a game time decision. Do I want Pinkberry? Kind of. When you have Bushu, I feel like it's pretty good. When consumed, apply two to all enemies. I mean... So the consume probably happens after, huh? Or does it? Hmm. I don't know about the order of operations. Palm Bomb can be good if we got that one that was like... Boost effects by 5 and gain consume. Oh well, shoot. Now Barry Bell's looking more appealing with that. I've not... I don't think I've used it a single time. But now it's really appealing, right? Now it's really appealing. Oh, what a good boss for us with the overburn of it all. Say yes. I don't like this. I'll probably just let you be Junjuned. Oh, but then the truffle. Well, but the poison happens at the end of the turn. We got like a full freaking set of stuff we're doing here. Holy. Okay, so you're going to explode poison. Then you're going to go attack, attack. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so good. We need to do two damage to you here. Oh, it's so good. Wow, that's terrifying. Okay. 
because we're not going to be doing damage. We're not actually doing damage, is the thing. It goes so wrong. Wait, okay, so hold on. <laughs> Am I wrong? Don't we have this? 28 times 2 times 2. One, three. Dude. Pretty good, pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, money or a charm? I want a crown. I want a crown. Uh, but I don't know if I'm going to get a shop now that we have that other... Um, the charm shop replaces the normal shop a lot of the times. Ah, uh, this is tough. This could be garbage. I don't need the help right now, so I'm going to just say sure. Okay, this will be a little bit more awkward. This is not really our um, area of expertise. The good news is... Hmm. What is the good news? Yeah, I'm not sure that this is a... Uh, because of all the block, I'm not sure that this is a Vesta double fight. I think this is a Bomb Bomb double fight. Like, we need to be able to take out both of these in a single smack. Speaking of, let's go get the 2-2. Two -two. You're going to be wasted with that, but whatever. It's not something I can care about right now. I just don't have, like, a great blocking angle for this. So, yeah, this is just going to be going to be what it is. So this is going to be weird cuz it can explode. Like it can it can actually work. Like it's not a dumb idea. Well, if I double it once, it's going to get doubled. Mm. Three. We could do seven to everybody. But I can never do more than that anyways, no matter what I do. And the nice thing is it doesn't count as a hit, so I like that a lot. Okay, Vesta, you are not really working here. Not loving that. Snowballable? Mayhaps. I think we just keep it simple, stupid. Yeah, Vesta's basically just not playing in this fight, which, I mean, I don't know what to say. It's just not, it's just not working out. Hmm. 
odd. Odd day. Double it up to eight. I wish the crab wasn't in front. That's what I wish. We're gonna have to deal with one of these probably at this point. Very blip. Boom, boom. We can kill the one. We could let Jun Jun just take the other. That's so awkward. Yeah, it's, it's just like I really wanted that one armor gone there before that happened, but but what are you going to do? And we're going to let the Junjun die to the Crawler, I guess? Actually, if I Pink Berry... We can take both. Which is pretty good. I need you out of the way so I can start... Well, it's really... Nah. God, we just got some weird stuff going on. We can take both hits this way, which is nice. Yeah, of course. We got we got the double down there. Sure thing, sure thing. Probably best to be a blizzard bottle moment on you, but... God, you are just you are just living no matter what, man. Yeah, this is a terrible, terrible fight for Overburn. But the fact that it's still not that bad should be really telling. Like we win that we win this fight. Let's let's be clear. We win this fight. If Vesta just had one damage, we'd be like we'd be somewhere, right? Okay. Good. Just deal with this. Crab gets to finally attack again. How about now? At this point, I'm almost just like, okay, we should just do it. Uh, we could get a double kill. If I'm willing to accept this eight, we can get a double kill. Like, let's... I kind of want Vesta to be able to play. Even if it means I have to take that hit, you know? Just let Vesta play. Okay. Okay. Every time your overburn gets up to 20, we get one free hit. Whatever at this point. Yeah, the overburn happens at the end, so it's not the best. I guess we save that, technically. Just 
keep on going. Keep on schmoving. We're almost through them. Now we heal for your entire attack every time. Okay, so two, then you'll be doubled. Just get rid of it. If you do two, you go up to nine, that gets doubled. Sure. We'll take that, and then we'll pop you with the tar blade. And then almost anything will do it here. It was not a tough fight, but boy, we were absolutely countered by it. But we've just built such a such a squad, right? All right, what's our final? I knew it! I knew it! Um, duping the candle is pretty good. Duping the berry bell is pretty good, too. Duping the candle is great for letting us take down two giant units. This is really good, too, though, because we have so much money to spend. Apply four... Reduce by one aimless. Gain hog headed plus seven health. Uh, balance charm three three three. That's really good for Bushu. Just always has been good for Bushu. That gives us a lot more healing. And Bushu only loses one health. You know what? Yeah, so that you can take you can take a random hit. This was a this was a good setup. Five health. I think we should put it on our hero. All right, everybody's in like a everyone's quite healthy, <laughs> like quite healthy. And storm it's storm globe being aimless reduced by one when played. I don't know. If played means when you play the card and not when it triggers, that's not that bad. I just don't know. How thick how thick is my deck? Pretty thick. Would like to do a little munching. It's not that that's not good. It really could be. Oh, we, that's right. We get another charm still, too. It could be good. Damage up by two. I mean, mathematically, it's best on Bushu. Lowest cooldown. Oh, no, it's best on Battle Axe. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, <laughs> I guess here we go. Or, I don't know. Do we want to change our crown game? That's the only thing I have. think we're good i i don't think that we're going to do better than getting all of our units out right away right the dream would be that i can also bring in blaze t on turn one but especially now that bushu's like really good like really good i think this is just what we do so we have ice forge we do have the rock hog we got just the, the standard fight Got the standard old fight. The fun news is whenever HP is lost, which does not mean... Ugh. I I like this song, but good God. Okay. Just drop down everybody. This is not the final fight. We don't have to worry about positioning yet. Uh, but the thing is, yeah, we can go bang, bang on the Frost Guardian and it won't matter. I do want you out of the way. But I think that just taking the four is going to be just a bit better right now. Azul Battle Axe. That, that's a way we could, like, 
pop that, but then Frost Guardian's going to take five damage, which isn't good. It's not good for us right now. I think maybe I'm just cool with taking these hits for the time being. I mean, like, look at our health. And we have Bushu. And we get Bushu. It's just, it's so much. Um, Bushu doesn't get to do damage, unfortunately. I'm going to want this dead. Still a heal. Because, yeah, since we're doing zero, we actually don't get to do damage to the Ice Forge, which is an annoying thing. All right, so I think somebody's going to have to take the Grizzle hit here, which is... Eh. I mean, that just solves a lot. Plum. That's six snow, man. Oh my god. Coming in right then is so bad. Uh, I'm leaning towards sacking a Junjun. I actually might want to play my whole hand in this scenario. Man, I hate that, but what? whatever. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I want a Lumen Vase, but I also will want to... Azul Candle. Azul Candle. Probably. Oh, there's, a lot I'd, there's a lot I'd like to do. I think... It's just too much damage. I need you dead before you do anything here. That's extremely annoying. Probably worth snowing. But then Grizzle gets to go. No, Grizzle dies to Bushu. Huge. Okay, huge. You're going to attack me twice for zero damage. Oh, no. Okay, so Bushu kills down here. Uh, uh, Mega Mimic. Mega Mimic frightened, for sure. I'm going to want my snow, but I don't know if we're going to get there in time. So it's kind of like the Rock Hog. Rock Hog needs to not be able to attack. Which sucks here. If I 2-2 two, two and go bang, bang, and then next turn I go bang, then that sweeps them all. Which I like. Ah. A Mega Mimic is going to be a problem, though. And I don't like them being off cooldown or, like, off uh, sync. But 2-2 two -two means, yeah, 8 goes to 16, goes to 32. Azul Candle, we, we double it. We sweep this before they get to go. I think it's just going to have to be fine. This kills the Rock Hog. Unfortunately, he doesn't get a go again, so like the Mega Mimic has a little bit of a problem yet. We're going to need to... Um... Oh, wait. That actually worked really well there. Oh, he's still activated? Oh, because Plum went. Good. There's just so much to freaking cover going on here. Stop it. I need the tattoo again, sort of, sort of, kind of.
I kind of just want to call me crazy. Kind of just want to like, you know, do the whole health bar because we can. All right. I mean, I'm playing with fire by doing it, but <laughs> multiplicatives, man. I don't know. We should probably play legit. Like, we're... Uh, we'll have a problem if we don't. Soon. Okay, so you're going to get buffed up by... So you'll die... I mean, you'll do your turn first. So you'll go up by two, so you get six. That's fine. Let's just... Let's not risk it. Bomb Bomb's just a freaking wall. Bye bye. That was about to go to 240. Oh boy. Anything to change? The only thing would be like guaranteeing that we get Blaze T turn one. That'd be like the biggest thing. I'm going to say no though. All right. All right. I'm thinking bomb bomb Oof 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 the question about so I guess it'd be bomb bomb Bushu No, we got to have Vade in the front. Oh, I hate that. Oh, I hate that. Oh, I hate that. Vade, because Bushu can't heal themselves, so it's like, it's a, it's asking for trouble. Bomb Bomb's going down bottom, like, no matter what, that just makes so much sense. Uh, Vade has to be in front of Vesta, that much I know. Otherwise, when they attack on the same turn, we got a problem. But Busha being in front just is a bad idea. You're going to die so much so soon, though. I thanks I hate it. Bushu in front of or behind us. It shouldn't matter too much. Okay, Boucher's gonna heal us up from all the damage we take. And then so maybe on a next loop through we can get the Frost Crusher. So I think we can force roll here to get uh, our double going, because we we gotta we gotta set up some stuff. It's uncomfortable, but we kind of gotta set up some stuff there. All right, that's a lot of damage. I need to I will need to snow you at some point, but I don't think it has to be right now. Uh Okay. 
I mean, dang, that's just some damage down there for, <laughs> for sure. Um... So it makes no sense to do anything else here. So we got six, five, four. We got we got a lot of damage. So six in the four, a lot coming out down below. Ow, of course. All right. So it's not even a, it's not a kill up top. If both of these hit the front, we don't die, which is, that's the huge thing. Okay, so double, double, puts us at 32, 64. If you had, if I battle axe first, you'd be at 82. And it puts it at 21. Okay. Let me just, let me make sure. This is not the time to be silly. Double, double, 84. You'll be taking five. You'll be at 82. Uh, and then Bush is also going to hit you anyways. So even if you hit the front, which to be clear, I don't want to happen. We'll be fine. So we need to do this first. This guy's ramping up like a son of a gun. But the top row is gone, and now we can uh, now we can move things in a way that will fit us better. Uh, so he ate my <laughs> he ate my slow, which or you know ate my whatever the hell. Uh, so Jun Jun can take the Frost Crusher hit, and then Bomb Bomb gets barraged. Which I don't like, but it's fine. Yeah, the snow getting uh, getting bopped there sucks. Like, let's make that known. Um, do we start getting the two two out to like get things a schmoovin? Yeah, the fact that I have no snow anymore that that was a that was the worst thing to have uh, get eaten, bar none. Okay, so let's think. A heal of three, heal of four. We have ten damage coming out. We can we can basically bump you up by seven. And then a, a, the berry blade would be the other thing. Uh, so I think we just Jun Jun mask this. To take that hit. That's going to be helpful enough. That'll just be your whole shtick. And you're going to be able to take the barrage, but can you? You can't take the barrage and the frost muncher. I mean, this should be fine. Like, let's be clear, it should be fine. Do I want to get to the the battle axe? I kind of want to. I mean, I want it to do something. You know what's kind of funny? We could actually take this hit on Vesta, and it would actually be pretty good. Because we can go bang, bang. That's actually pretty good. Is it scary? Yeah. But it's also not that bad. Because then we also get to play with uh, Junjun, which is just pretty cool, I guess. Um, no reason not to do something here. All right, so Junjun takes this hit, dies, take the barrage, take the four. Uh, rightmost card gets eaten. Thank you. Jinjun dies. Barrage, but we're good. We're golden. And in fact, uh, we have indeed won. Just like that.
Well, it's actually gonna be... It's gonna be kind of funny close. Oh wait, no, if we put down the four first, that actually works out well. So four, that brings you to 33. Okay, good. That that works. All right. We win. Hell, we could have we could have killed them with they if they had uh twice as much health. This fight would have been just as difficult as it was this time. With twice as much health. It would have been just as difficult. And that's and that is hilarious. If they would have had if they would have had four times the health Four times, if they would have had 400, 500 HP, it would have been a bit harder. <laughs> like, that's so funny. That's the strength of the uh, the scaling of the build we we made there today. That was really fun. We made the overburn happen, Captain. That is for sure. Uh, the thing is, we we're, we're not going to be yeah sacrifice ten allies in a single battle. I mean, we'll see. Fifty shell, we'll see. Um. We got... Oh, look at that. Apply... I, mean, I think we had you before, kind of, sort of. Um, Apply one snow aimless. There's some interesting stuff here. Very interesting stuff. But alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it for today. I loved that run. That one was so satisfying. But, hey, if you'd be sad to see the series go, you got to let me know in the form of a comment down below. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for roguelikes and more every single day, and I will see you next time. Bye.